Welcome. Uh, we're going to create a video series, and in this video series, we're going to use React Native, uh, not Expo, <coughs> React Native specifically, and we're going to create a series of charts with just uh, React Native SG, SVG. Uh, we will have to install some other packages just so we can get some like navigation going. But uh, let's get started. I'm just going to go to this folder where I'm going to create these, and I'm just going to bring up a command prompt. You can bring up a terminal if you're on a Macintosh. Let's say npx react native init. Whoa, I can't type. And we'll just call this charts. It's going to proceed to download the template, create the folder. In the next video, we'll do a little bit of setup with the navigation system, and then um, we'll start on the charts right away. Okay, it appears everything has finished. We have our folder over here. What I typically like to do, uh, and once again, I'm going to be on Android. And I'm going to be using a physical Android device. I'm going to be using a TC21. Um, and I'm going to be loading it up with an application called Visor. V-Y-S-O-R. Uh, it looks like this. <clears throat> and it'll detect any devices that you have plugged in. And then you can just kind of remote into those devices. So I'm in this folder. I'm going to open this in VS Code. <clears throat> bring this window up over here. <clears throat> now, typically what I like to do is bring up Android Studio. So I'm going to have that up over here. And I'm going to go to File and Open. And we'll open up the Android folder. And we will trust it. <clears throat> and we will let Android Studio do its thing and just verify that the app can run out of the box. There's too many times that I've fired up a project and then added a bunch of dependencies and tried to make a bunch of stuff work and then when I finally loaded the app on my device, that was just all kind of errors happening. So I like to, for the initial setup, I like to just kind of take things one step at a time, get everything set up, get it all running, make sure everything works, and then slowly start adding dependencies, and then keep testing it and rebuilding it one step at a time. Also going to bring up a terminal right here. So when this is ready, <clears throat> we can test this on our device. Okay, once it has drawn the structure of our app, I'm just going to run npm run android and once again this device is plugged in it's showing up up here in the list you can use an emulator I'm just not a big fan because they're so incredibly slow and I have multiple zebra devices that I use for work purposes so this is perfect oh and it says I have a javascript server already running so let me close that out and fire this up again <clears throat> the first time on these always takes a while sometimes you gotta stop it start it back up is this gonna fire up the metro server which is gonna be here make that a little bigger <clears throat> okay so our app is running this is good let's bring up VS Code let's make this a little smaller We'll come over here into da, 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 the app.tsx. And I am just going to basically... Uh, I'm going to kill everything. Select all. Whoops. Not in that side. Over here in this side. Import React. From React. Import View. I'm not having luck typing today. Text. Style sheet. 
from React Native Const App. And we're going to export the default app. And we'll say const styles equals style sheet dot create. Let's make a container in here. Flex of one. Uh, justify content center line items center and then here we will just return a view with a style styles dot container text hello app I'm gonna save that <clears throat> and there we go now one thing uh, I do want to do before we do anything else is I'm on Windows so I'm going to come over here to the prettier file and I'm going to say end of line auto we may have to add some ESLint rules but that's to start so in the next video we will start to add maybe like a drawer navigator over here <clears throat> so we can have a couple of different pages and have a page maybe for each type of chart something like that.